Well, welcome back to Nonsense A Lot with me, Lily. And me, Catherine. And our special guest again. Do I introduce myself? Do I need an introduction? <laughs> an introduction <laughs> to be fair, we don't have any other guests. <laughs> it's like, we, who else is it going to be? My oh, family, right. I think next season my family wants to like call in. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so no, I mean, it's fine. I just don't know why they'd want to be a part of this. Mm. I mean that in the kindest you, way possible. Do you doubt your own capability? This yes. is going to take off. This is this is taking off. It's like an airplane, just by Boeing. This week we're doing a slam poetry presentation, maybe competition. Usman, as always, uh, is the most impartial judge we know. Aka the only judge we know. <laughs> And um, he's going to tell us whose slam poetry is better. Um, I don't really know what slam poetry is, so you're going to have to explain. I just, the only thing I think slam poetry is, is just reading poems in a funny voice. Mm. So well, that has a bit of a slam to it. <laughs> I thought it was like diss tracks, but poems. So like Shakespearean diss tracks. Mm. Okay, okay. So you're going to have to explain Maybe you, sl- you slam them, you get slammed. <laughs> As far as I know, slam poetry is just like poetry done with kind of emphasis on so like I was a stage. Right. Yeah, it is kind of. Yeah. Like, but with I'm not an ex- with pizzazz. Thank you, Usman. That's exactly the word I was going for. Oh, <laughs> pizzazz. Wow, <laughs> Shakespeare already. I say you go first because you're the actual one who's into literature. Um, and books. I think we need to understand, though, that it's it's special. Slam poetry. It's a style. It's a... <laughs> it's sort of the reality TV of poetry. <laughs> yeah. I have I have three poems. Okay, read your first. Um, I don't have a name for the first one. Oh, do you mean names for them? Well, if you want. I just came I'll up with... I just came up with some names. Okay. <laughs> so we have up first, Lily reading Nameless. Yes, thank you, this one. <laughs> And uh, in case you don't know how slam poetry works, you snap if you're in agreement. Mm. He sounds like a fire alarm when he raps. (laughs) Please, where's the fire extinguisher? If I hear another bar, I might... (laughs) Humans are incapable of not making noise. I think Kant said that. Who's can't? You can't handle the truth. <laughs> is that the box? He said. Or is that a window being cleaned? She said. Ear. <laughs> Ear. I feel like Lorene strapped to a bar stool in a giant car wash. Shook, 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 shook. In the cycle of being cleaned. Shook, shook, shook. Censored for my words. Shook, shook. Silenced. Shook. Yes. Yes. Mine are so shit in comparison to yourself. So fuck. That's so long. Yeah, that was a leap. Oh, that fuck. That is exactly what I thought that poetry was. <laughs> no, it's I was... poetry. See, it's just rap poetry. This is not going to be a competition because I don't want to get thrashed like that. I'm literally... This is the... You need to do it in Lin-Manuel Miranda's voice. Oh, well, I'll do this one then. <laughs> Just to prepare ourselves. Go on. Yeah, no, you need to give me a sec. Uh, I was inspired by the works of uh, Lin Manuel Miranda. Okay. Specifically. After the gap, I went back to Sigma. After the gap, I went back to Sigma. I finished my race and I went back to Goon. I gooned so hard by her next door. Even though we started at the very same time, Alexander Rizzleton began to climb. How to account for his rise to Skibbity? The man gooned non stop. <laughs> There you go. What, what do you think of that, this one? I want to strike it from my memory, <laughs> every fibre of my being. Uh, it inspired me last night so much. I mm. just, I felt how we needed to bring classic US stories to the forefront of Gen Z imagination. We mm. need to translate the past into the future, right? It's all well and good, except the future's shit. <laughs> that's, that's... Gen Z, it's, how do I do the opposite of a... Of a What's it called? A flick? Click. A snap. A snap. How do, what's the opposite of a snap? A, pa- a pans. Let me do a pans. Mmm. How do I do it? Pans. Silence. 
You have to understand that all of my poems are like that. Oh, well, that that was that was that was art. That was in art a, in a way. It's, it's not going to come up from here. Was, was man our judge? What do you think about that? What do you think about the two pieces that just stood up for you? This is the kind of art that would cause one to go start another world war. Ah, <laughs> interesting. <laughs> interesting. Just don't apply to art school. Mm. I thought you wanted to read this one. I'll be honest with you. <laughs> it works with your American accent, maybe. <laughs> really well written i was so proud of myself is this supposed to be to the yeah yeah so it's non-stop okay okay i think i can do it after the get i went back to sigma after the get i went back to sigma i finished my words and i went back to goon i gooned so hard bird hurt next door even though we started at the very same time alexander rizzleton began to climb how to account to his ride to the skibbity the man goons non-stop so much better. Fantastic <laughs> performance. At least I've, wrote, I've oh, written it. it was a, you could t- feel your take was just to read it with passion. But no. passion, was that with passion. You have to understand, right? You have to understand. This is a team effort. Mm. I write the inspiring poems and you read them. Oh, so we're like, we're like you know, a singer-songwriter yes, duo. Yes, I'm the songwriter and you're the singer. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> next piece is titled The Postcard. I bought a postcard from a flea market, stained by time, frayed at the edges. But in that burned memory, I didn't expect to see your uncle's extremity. I'm sorry. Pause. <laughs> For legal reason, this is above 18, right? It's 18 plus listening. Yes, this is 18 plus listening. To be fair, she has not said anything that would yeah, get cut. No, it's I just, just said that sim- in that burned memory, I didn't expect to see your uncle's extremity. Does this poem continue? No. Oh, okay. That, that, that's <laughs> that's the, the end. I actually liked this one. This one I actually thought was decent. Um, I have a sequel explain, to it Explain as well. your process, could you? Well, I, I started writing something I actually liked. I was inspired by Ozymandias. Right, right, right. So I bought a coast card from a flea market, stained by time, frayed at the edges, but in that burned memory, because, of course, it's frayed at the edges and it's probably been burned by a lighter because the man wanted to, you know, erase it from the face of the earth. Mm. You know? And I like the fact that there's layers to this <laughs> because <laughs> the narrator, as you can see, has decided to buy this. <laughs> Like, they've noticed it when they bought it, and they decided they wanted to keep it for themselves. So I think there's something about them and the kind of, like, niece or nephew of the uncle figure. Maybe they're attracted to them, but they can't, like, do it, so they decide to get through them through their uncle, maybe. Mm. I like the layers to this. I think it really mm. can be put on an AQA poetry booklet. Fascinating. I highly yeah. recommend not doing that. I, I didn't. I remember for doing For legal that. purposes. For <laughs> legal purposes, that's a joke. Um, I also don't have a sequel to it, because I got the same bout of inspiration. Mm-hmm. I once found a disposable camera. I brought it to Tesco to try to figure it out. A little puzzle in my hands. I have never again seen so many photographed bangs. Wow. I was inspired by a comedy routine I saw quite mm. a while ago. I forgot who the comedian was, but they were talking about how they found this disposable camera on the side of the road and they brought it in and they were like really excited to see what it was and it was like a gimp, like a heavy BDSM content and they were highly judged for getting it printed. Mm. Yeah. It's like... I'm um, noticing a trend here. <laughs> What's the trend? Very modern. Yeah. Ka- yeah, Catherine has a lot of trauma, clearly. <laughs> I don't think this is connected to my trauma. <laughs> Well, it's connected to something. Yeah. Fascinating. Do you want to do your next one, then? Yes. My next one is called ergophobia. Mm-hmm. I know. A nice Greek word in there. Do you know what it means? Yeah, I, the, the poem explains oh, it. Oh, it's an explanation. Oh, okay. Yes, yes. Mm. It's, it's in the poem, I promise. <laughs> Just some deep breaths. Meditation. Ergophobia. According to Merriam-Webster, the fear of or aversion to work. Work, work, work. Ah! How can I work? Read, read, read books. Make, make, make notes. I'm scared. Money, money, money. But where does it all come from? Where will it all go? Who are you, cotton eye gel? I can line dance. Can you? Step, 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 clap. Step, turn, step, clap. Do we live to? And... 
<laughs> we live in a society, Margaret Thatcher. My lesson, you're not going to be fully original. You just have to be decently original. Why are yours all so long? <laughs> what the fuck? Now that's art. Thank you. Mm. Mm. Do you. You're not composing these, are you? No, I, I've you written all of these. these. Yeah. Oh. Did you see mine was also original? <laughs> I, assume, I assumed so, but I just had to make sure, because like, yours felt like yours, but Lily's I've not heard poetry from other people, so... Three poems left, but they're all very short. Three? How many did you have? Well, th- mine aren't that long. So you just made six? You had options? Yeah. I wrote them in a very sleep deprived state because mm. we had a deadline approaching. Mm-hmm. So if you can figure out the meanings to this poem, good for you. Right. Because I don't know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Up to the discretion of the reader, listener in this case. So I've got the first one. Yes. It's what I call um, onomatopoeia. Mm, yeah. Alien. Ailing M. Ailing her. Nailing her. Bow chicken bow wow. <laughs> wow. Thank you. Wow. The process of a sleep deprived person. I, it made sense to me when I was writing in Horde. Also, I love how alien is not an onomatopoeia. None of them are. I mean, bow, chicka, wow, bow. It, they are <laughs> I guess. It ends with it. It ends where it should have begun. Mm. Mm. That's a good line. Yeah. Yeah. What's your next What's your next piece for us? Um, this one's unnamed. Oh, Thank so you. we have nameless and unnamed. Beer. Blur. Burr. Burr. Cheer. Chur. Cur. Duh. <laughs> uh, is this just going through the alphabet by saying <laughs> ER after the letters? <laughs> Sorry. Fla. Fa. Ma. Ma. Pa. 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 <laughs> Sorry, it's really, it's really emotional right now. Right, right, right. Okay. It's really emotional. I just, oh. Skla, sheer, sa, skr. Skla, spa, sta, sa, ta, tha. Va, where, wa, where, year. Thank you. <laughs> We didn't even get to Z. No, because it wasn't it wasn't what you thought it was. I looked up like rhyming words with something, and that's just all the options it gave me. And I don't think any of them were actually words, other than like ma and like fucking screw. You know, sla maybe I don't know. And I was like, that's kind of artistic. I thought the murmur was really good. You had mer and mer. Yeah, yeah, I had mer spelled M U R R E, and then mer spelled M Y R R H. Oh, not even M U R. No. I, I personally liked purr. You like... <laughs> it was... I didn't... I, I thought you were, like, trying to say something there. That's why you were getting a message out of it. Yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah. You were kind of feeling the artistic way. I thought by laughing you were kind of making fun of my art here. Oh, but no, I no. See... It was connecting with me. Yes, exactly. It was connecting with your soul. Mm-hmm. Or, like, a spirit. Was it connecting with you, Isma? No. Shit. <laughs> Maybe I should go back to skr, slur, <laughs> You're hoping that would connect with me. I, That's I not can't... the right message you should be sending to the judge I right now. I guess not. My, my final poem mm, mm. Go on. is called TV. The mm. TV or just TV? Just TV. Just TV. Mm. TV. Fernsehen. Yeah. Bully you... Like you're the Wilson to my house. Quote shows since you're as brain dead as I am. Do you watch SVU? In the criminal justice system, sexually based offenses are considered especially heinous. In New York City, the dedicated detectives who investigate these vicious felonies are members of the elite squad known as the Special Victims Unit. These are their stories. Dun dun. No, you don't. All you do is watch reality TV. I'm claustrophobic. I'm claustrophobic. 
from your reality TV. What is my reality? Thrown into Boston Harbor like it's 1776. Call me a communist. I want you to join my party. Why pay for a TV license when you can get shows for free? The socialist revolution will start with TV. I don't agree with half of that part, for <laughs> sure. I felt, it was, I felt the tone was very pointed. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. Didn't mm -hmm. like the direction it was pointing in. <laughs> um, Looking like a capitalist. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Uh, well, You're just against the, the communist movement. I disagree with your views. I, I, I want more like of a review of my work. Oh, your work's very good. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, I look at mine and I look at yours and I'm like, I've missed something. Uzma, what did you think of my poem? You can feel the amount of effort put into those. Mm. I can just imagine you sitting on your, your desk late hours into the night, thinking, what can I possibly write about? And the inspiration hits yeah. there mm -hmm. and then. This actually, this kind of did hit like that. Because this morning I was blow drying my hair. And I thought of the, I thought of the bully you like you're the Wilson to my house. And then I thought of the German word Fernsehen for T, like that means to watch TV. And I was like, there's something here. And I was like in the middle of blow drying my hair, opened my notes app and wrote down this poem. Mm. It's, it's truly artistry. There's only a... It is true artistry. You've put effort into this. I'm looking at what I've done, and I feel a bit worried. My only question for you is you thought yeah. um, slam poetry was just reading poetry in a funny voice. Yes. But you have not put on any funny voices. Can you explain that? Um, I don't know what voices I do that are funny, other than my own. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that is... <laughs> that's pretty yeah. funny. Um... Wait, no, I've got an idea. Freedom. America. Yeah. <laughs> Freedom by Catherine Sullivan. America. Caca! <laughs> I feel as if it's soaring above me. The constant American eyes left, abo left above me. The drones in the sky. The flag in the air. Caca! <laughs> I feel as if freedom's all around me. Looking at me down, judging me. Kaka! <laughs> Freedom. Thank you. I think you just put in Kaka to lighten <laughs> the mood of a fairly depressing poem. No, no, that was a good one. It was Freedom. She just got she's just moved to America and now she's free. Say Kaka! But that's like like I just think you could make it good. <laughs> you could make it more not depressing, but yeah. We're just not as American as you, Lou. We don't like understand the concept oh, of freedom. It's, it's my cultural context that makes me too optimistic, is what you're saying. You're just too free. We're not free enough. We're British. Mm. We're, we're trapped here by the weather, trapped here by the rain, trapped here by the people, trapped here by the Red, white, and blue. The red of the blood. The white of the freedom. And the blue of the police officers. All ruined by those fucking Yanks, man. Wow. Revolution in free fall. Let's claim it all back. Off to Greg's for the blue. Off to, we'll go for the red. And for the white, my Mrs. Wedding Girl. Did you come up with that just there? Yes. That was fully original. Yes. Fantastic. <laughs> See, that wins today. Like, that, that is probably the peak of today. Ah. <laughs> That's insulting, man. That's insulting. Yeah, Greg's in it. <laughs> True. She went from blue to red, back to blue to red. Like, oh. We're taking it all back, boys. That was a British poem right there. England. England. Well, uh, what did you think of this poetry session? Do you feel enlightened? Do you feel artistically moved? I feel different. <laughs> Mm. The good or bad, the future will tell. Mm. Tale that we told by all those who fell. Tale as old as time. <laughs> I feel like I'm making a mockery of this poetry session. I just, I really, I really think you're not taking it seriously. No, we were writing a poem. I thought what you were saying, and then my addition, it was writing some slam poetry. Mm -hmm. well, you, you had did some slight plagiarism there. Mm. No, it, it's you're just stealing other artists' work, and I don't respect that. It's intertextuality. Is it? Yeah. Is it a meta narrative? Yeah. Mm. That's what I'm going to say next time I write my essay with ChatGPT. 
<laughs> the meta narrative of how AI is taking over our fucking lives. But I think, like, you know, a lot of these lines, some of my bits, I didn't say all of them. Like, Graham Norton on the Eurovision broadcast of the finale said that Lorene was strapped to a bar stool in a giant car wash. Yeah. You know, the inspiration came from real life. Mm. And that's that's true poetry. Agree, mm-hmm. mm. 100%. Thank you. See, this man recognized my art. You're just... She's, she's jealous. Yeah. I, I have talent. That's a word for it. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, what do you think was the worst poem? The worst? Yeah. If you're allowed you're to say unnamed. it's Alexander Rizzleton. No, you're unnamed one. What the fuck is my unnamed one? Er, ski. Oh. Er, you thought that was the worst one? That was the worst one. Mm. I thought it was one of her better ones. <laughs> I couldn't feel the passion behind it. It mm. was just there for the sake of it. Regardless of how good it was, there was no emotion. There wasn't no there was no slam in it. There's no pizzazz. Oh, uh, okay. I felt the most pizzazz Catherine had was in her first poem. So skip, part skip. of it was the was the performance. It's a delivery, yeah. If it's just poetry, you can only judge that objectively. Mm. What's what's one you disliked her performance of that I can do instead? Oh, it's the burst girl, whatever the fuck. That okay. One. Yeah. See, that would have been a better name. Burst girl. Burst girl, whatever the fuck. <laughs> Perfect name. Fine, that's the name for it. We got a name for it. We've named you now. See, but there's a lack of passion. You had no name, no nothing for it. You mm. just threw it out there. That was the most emotion you put into that song. That song, the poem. It's a song, Eurovision song. Entry UK next year. This is the last um, episode of the season. We'll be back in September, October. And I hope you listeners are there when we come back. We like doing this. Yes. Yes. And, um, you know. Let me do my thank yous. Thank you to my lecturers for hopefully giving me a great grade. You gave me a great grade. <laughs> you did. You gave me a great grade. Thank you for my therapist for getting me through, but thank you to my lecturers for the good grades. Bye. And, um, yeah. I guess we'd like to say thank you for all the support. Thanks, and Usman, it's for been coming on. Great. And yes, thank you, Usman, for being our special guest twice this season. I would also like to thank myself. I think I've done a great job. And thanks for all wonderful hosts. Yeah. Well, well, just for being here, because I'll be talking to myself even more than usual. <laughs> I think that's normal for all of us, actually. <laughs> True. This is my reciting of Catherine's. Yeah. Burr, skr, whatever. God. The fuck. <laughs> Burr. Blur. Burr. Burr. Chur. Chur. Cur. Dur. Er, fur, fur, fleur, fur. Mur. <laughs> Mur. Purr, 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 sclur, sure, sir, skur, slur, spur, sir, tur, sir, er, ver, weir, where, were, your. See, much better, much better. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.